eyeballs. Hello, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas, and welcome to the video. I don't have any diving footage for you today, but it's a little bit of a melange that we're going for. I wanted to show you a few things. Frugal Daddy picked up curbside shopping that I don't think we've showed you yet, and a couple things I feel like we got really good deals on at the thrift store. The thrift store? And a couple of things I thought we got really good deals on at the thrift store. And a little bit of an update here and there on, hey, remember that steak you pulled out of the dumpster? Was that good? I'm going to let you know if it was good or not. So, it's a variety pack today. Let's get started. Let's start with something fun. Dumpster pumpkin shaped sugar cookies from Pillsbury that you bake yourself. I don't know why I have a knife in my hand. I don't think I need it. Open it up. There we have it. All the little cookies. Not all melted or smashed together. It is getting cooler out, so that's good. This is what I need the knife for. And I've got little mini chocolate chips to stick on to make little eyes. I'm going to use them for eyes. Glowing pumpkin eyeballs. And here we go. And here they are, all baked. With that little effort, you can make cookies that look like real Halloween jack-o'-lanterns. Here's the meat, fresh off the grill. And let me tell you, these stew pieces that I grilled are so tender and so delicious. I kind of undercooked it all because I figured it would cook more when it's reheated in the microwave. Or I was thinking about chopping the stew bits up even smaller to make chili. I mean, the grilled flavor on the stew meat is amazing. It's so tender. I just, I'm in shock because I thought it was going to be really tough. But I don't know that I'm going to make chili now because it's just great. The little chunks the way they are. They would be nice just thrown on top of a salad. This steak smells so good. Yay, dumpster meat. Big yay. All right, check out these two curbside finds. It's kind of hard to film wire mesh looking things without a really nice plain backdrop. But get my... Crappy garden is your backdrop. So there's this golden one. It's like an étagère to go behind the toilet, which I'm pretty psyched about because you know me, I like my storage space and we don't have a lot built into this house. And then over here you have this more of a smaller black kind of a, I don't know, baker's rack, but it's got these interesting little hooks that could be useful. So I'm... Oh, very excited about both of these items. Yay, Frugal Daddy, yay, thank you. All right, here we go with the chicken breasts that we found on October 11th, and we're dated October 11th, and they smell fine, and I've got them on the grill. I'm going to sprinkle them liberally with my Cavender's Greek seasoning because it is the best, and I love it, love it, love it. One of our lovely viewer friends commented that she also loves the Cavender's Greek seasoning because it's the best, but she can't get it where she lives. And I looked online and you can order it, I guess, right from the Cavender's company, which is like greekseasoning.com. And you can get it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure Walmart carries it. I think you can get it on walmart.com if you are fans of this. Here you go on follow up with that food. It's on the grill and we'll flip it soon. And there we go, a short time later, there's been a flip. I don't know if that looks burned to you. I like it that way myself. I like those crispy bits, but there's the chicken cooking away, almost done. And yes, I am gonna try a little bite of dumpster chicken before I've even finished cooking all of them, because this one's ready. Super hot. Because it's hot. That's chicken, I should go. Hot, hot. I could fake getting food poisoning. That would be a very low form of humor. This is so delicious. Totally fine. Totally. Not gonna die, not gonna get sick, not gonna get the diarrhea. No. So, yay. Look at this Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. I just wanted to show you this cheesecake sampler. It got a little crushed, of course, because it was tossed into a dumpster, but it really looks very fine other than that one little crushed area i mean there's just 
nothing wrong with this beaut. I'm going to taste it to see if there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, oh, the chocolate chips look so good. We can do the poison control test. Wouldn't it be adorable if a mouse popped its little head out oh. right now? I think you <laughs> Just kidding. Care. You know that? I know. It was a joke. We have never seen rodents in the dumpsters. That's what the innards look like. There you go. Oh, yum, yum, yum. <gasps> Cheesecake is making your eye get even better. Wow. You know what the best part of this is? What? That it's free? That is that what you were going to say? Mm-hmm. That it's free. And that it's really quite delicious. Mm -hmm. It's good cheesecake. All right, so here's the etagere that is to go over a toilet. I finally found a place in the house where it fit. Because it didn't fit over any of the human toilets. So it's turning this cat area into a fancy throne-like situation and providing some extra storage. Ridge. And yes, we're still using the pine pellets for our cat litter. And what do you have, frugal daddy? What did you find? A new hoover. A new hoover. New to us for hoovering with wind tunnel high performance. So frugal daddy and I were just taking a walk and of course it happened to be garbage day. We weren't out searching for garbage, but when are you not really searching for garbage? Never. Never not. So we found this Sony speaker in somebody's trash, which is pretty cool. It's a subwoofer. And uh, it still has cords and things. Mm -hmm. Right before Frugal Daddy found the speaker, he found this backpack igloo, keep it cold on the go type container. You can put an ice pack up there or anything you want to keep separate. And we have our insulated, excellent size. Got a Bud Light bottle opener. And straps. So this strap has come unattached there as a handle, but the straps that you would wear like a backpack still yeah. work fine. We can sew that if we want to. So we found these two items when we were actually on our way walking to the thrift store. And I think Frugal Daddy found a pretty good bargain at the thrift store. So we're going to show you something that we actually just paid money for. Human money. But here, come take it away, Frugal Daddy. Show us what you found. I had to wheel this all the way home from the thrift store. It's a golf bag, suitcase. I asked how much it cost. She said $5. I said, I'll take it. Little did you know. <laughs> so you get it home and you've got a whole new golf bag full of golf clubs, new to you. A leather Ben Hogan golf bag. And what was it about these clubs that had you so excited? They are tailor-made titanium and graphite clubs. Uh, drivers, woods, five iron, three iron. Is it the full set? Is that everything yeah, a golfer would need? Yeah, this is a uh, rescue, uh, for rescue fair out of the rough. All right, so you think this is a pretty decent set of clubs? These are several hundred dollars a piece, a piece. A piece. A piece. A piece. A piece. These are four in the set of woods, for the tailor-made woods. And then there's bonus ones. Look, can you see the graphite? Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are from the Aldi dumpster dive where we found the eight boxes of Swiss rolls. This is just some of the chicken we found that day. And this steak, I remember the steak being a $7 steak. And they all smelled fine and we've grilled them up and they taste amazing. Check out this table, Frugalistas, that Frugal Daddy found in somebody's trash. It's super ornate, very gothic, very Halloween-y. It's got this mermaid scale tail, mother of pearl situation on the top, and it's got jewels and intricacies, and it's very, like Dumbledore would have had this next to his bed. This is Dumbledore's bedside table. It's so cool but it has a special feature that Frugal Daddy will now demonstrate. Whoa, dudes. Can you imagine in a dark room with a little candlelight glittering on top, your cup of cocoa, your pipe? What else would you want next to you? Your Harry Potter book. Your Harry Potter book. When you started to say Harry, I thought you were gonna say your heroine. No, Daddy, no. No Hedoween. So there you go with that. Frugal Daddy also found this really nice old antique, well-worn, well-loved, well-used granny rocker. 
Is it comfortable? Yeah. I, I feel like it might be more my size than your size. I'd like a rocking chair myself. Very nice. You want to rock too? Oh, oh, she's rocking it. She's rocking it. All right, there you go, guys. That's what it was. I don't know much, but I know pigs roll in mud. That's all I know. My kid said that to me when she was three years old. I thought it was hysterical. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I shrug. Eh, I hope. And tomorrow's video should be an Aldi dive. So, see you guys then. I mean, I think I said that before, but I think it really is going to be an Aldi dive. I just wanted a break. You know, you don't want to watch the dives every single day. You got to have a break. All right, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. And we will see you again soon. Stay alive and stay diving.